So let's bring back attention, but then you can have different versions of attention. So this is an assignment for you to watch that video. I'm gonna go through this one also really quickly, give you an overview and then you can ask questions. First of all, let's start with the message. We said that the sentence length matters. And as you increase the sentence length, the quality of uh, RNN base or CNN based translation system is gonna go down without any attention. And attention is gonna fix this. All of these are attention based. So it's gonna fix the sentence length issue. So that's the big picture. It's empirically speaking, but what are we trying to do? What are the different types of attention that you can actually define? You could have global attention or you can have local attention. For global attention, while predicting a word at the teeth location, maybe you're predicting Z here and T is this location in your output, you can pay attention to every single entry of your input. So you're just gonna compare this H or the hidden state right before emitting your word. You can compare this hidden state with every single hidden state coming out of your encoder. You can compute some score. That score, you're gonna push it through a softmax because you have an attention budget of one. And then you're gonna spread that attention across your input. This is global attention. For the local one, you're gonna focus on an input word in your sentence, and then you're gonna focus uh, maybe two words to the right, two words to the left. You have an attention budget of one that you're spreading locally around a particular word. And the way that you're gonna choose that particular word could be a naive way of doing it. If you're predicting word T in your sequence, go in on your word T of your input sequence, and then spread your attention among two outputs to the left, two outputs to the right. Or there is a fancier version of it to obtain PT, the location of where you want to pay attention to, or you can call this the anchor location. To find the anchor location, you can parameterize it and then pick according to the sentence length. And then here you have to be careful for your gradients to actually flow properly. You don't want to end up with discontinuities when it comes to training. When it comes to testing, you can just truncate stuff. That's why you're going to use this exponential function. You're paying attention even infinitesimally to every single entry of your input during training. But when it comes to testing, you just truncate because this exponential is going to go to zero really fast. And if the value of that exponential is less than a threshold, you just cut it. And so far, so good. global attention. Local attention. This one has a local uh, region around an anchor input. The other one is at paying attention globally. But regardless of what you do, you have two hidden states. One is the hidden state of your decoder at a particular location, the hidden state of your encoder at a particular input word. Let's call one of them HD, the other one H bar S. T and S would be different. T is the location of your decoder, S is the location of your encoder. And all you need to do is come up with a score. And if you start brainstorming, you are gonna come up with these scores uh, immediately, even on your own. So you don't have to read this paper. One score could be just multiply these two vectors together. You have two vectors, multiply them together. This is the dot product, and that's gonna give you a value from negative infinity to positive infinity. That's your score. Another score which is gonna survive and it's gonna give us the attention mechanism that we use these days, or at least a modification of it, is the general one here. It is the general dot product between two vectors. The other one that comes to your mind really quickly is concatenate these two vectors together, multiply it by a matrix. That's gonna give you the same size as you have inputs. Push, push it through a nonlinearity, multiply it by a vector to give you the scalar that you're looking for. And these are learnable parameters, WA, VA, or this WA here. So you can have multiple versions of these, and then gradually the literature is gonna converge to this general form later on. Any questions about attention, global versus local, dot versus general versus concat? 
So was everything clear? Okay, perfect. 